Welcome to our channel. So in today's lecture, we're going to talk about how to calculate limit of deduction LOD and limit of quantification LOQ. So I have briefly mentioned their definition as the minimum amount of the analyte that can be detected using analytical method or instrument. And LOQ means minimum amount of analyte that can be quantified using analytical method. So in order to find out the limit of deduction or uh, limit of quantification, I have a data set. Uh, this data set is driven from a real time ICP MS data. So this one is concentration in parts per million and these are our CPS values, this counts per second. So in order to find out the regression, first we need to select the data. And then from, the, you can see there are different kind of tabs. From data, you need to select data analysis and from data analysis you need to select regression so when you select regression it will ask you what are your x and what are your y values so these ones are my y values so be careful by selecting x and y values and for x values i have these values so when i press ok a new sheet would appear the expanded form of this sheet is here so our point of concern are two values. So when we are finding the LOD or LOQ, LOD, their formulas. For LOD, the formula is 3.3 .3 into sigma over S. So this is standard deviation and this is slope. So in the whole data, this one is over standard deviation and this is our slope so when we use these two values this is we can also call s d of intercept like standard deviation of intercept and this value is slope so when we divide these values for lod uh, sigma will be 1091370695 so when we divide and with the slope 12445.46641, the answer would be 28. Again, I can erase this one. 28.94. So this is the limit of detection for ICPMS or counts per second, the minimum that can be detected using that uh, ICPMS instrument. For LOQ, the limit of quantification that we call, its formula is 10 into sigma over S. So similar, sigma is our standard deviation. That's the standard deviation of intercept ST, or we can also write sigma and the slope. And the value would be, 87.70 so in this way that's the minimum level of uh, analyte or concentration that can be quantified using that icpms instrument this is the minimum level of uh, detection level using that icpms instrument so why i'm talking about icpms because these values that are driven from icpms this is the concentration parts per billion and this is the uh, CPS value counts per second value. So these are the my minimum values 28.94 and 87.70. So in this way, we can find out uh, the limit of detection and limit of quantification. If you have any question, you can ask in the comment section.